Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we've got the Apex Lifeline 15 meter spool. This is the upgraded version. It's had a few little tweaks and change over the previous version. Uh, let's take a closer look. This is how it arrives in a kind of hybrid uh, packaging slash uh, sort of shop display. So it protects the spool, but you can flip it up and then it becomes a little shop display, but cardboard, nice and recyclable. Um, you have the stainless steel double ender. This is like a 11 centimeter double ender and the, uh, the spool itself, it's kind of twisty tied onto this cardboard, but yeah, let's take that off and uh, dive a little deeper. Okay, so first of all, it comes with a 11 centimeter stainless steel bolt snap, double ender. Uh, very nice, smooth action on that. They uh, they haven't cheaped out on the uh, on the double ender. Keep hold of that. Make sure your buddy doesn't steal that. Then you have the spool itself, very reminiscent of the previous version, but it's had a few upgrades on it. Uh, the main body of the spool is still made out of anodized aluminium, so it's very, very lightweight, but it still feels strong with it. It feels a little bit thinner. Um, I'm probably just making that up, but it, it, it does feel very strong and a little bit lighter as well. I'm going to have to compare this to, uh, to my one that I have. Um, but yeah, as far as a, a finger spool goes, this is nice and small, very dinky. It's, um, it, it holds 15 meters of line, as you can probably imagine, um, which is perfect for all sort of recreational diving. If you're just doing a, a five meter safety stop, plenty of line on that, but it's not oversized. It's not a big clunky reel or a spool. So it has everything that you need for those recreational dives. As far as upgrades go, the main one is in uh, sort of around the edges. It has this hardened plastic section around the sides. So with the previous version, that would tend to wear out because that was what was making contact with um, so like the deck of the boat or wherever. So they've just reinforced that so it's a bit stronger. It has some crenellation on it still so you can grab hold of it. Even if you've got gloves on, you can still grab and you've got that traction to, uh, to hold onto it. Still has the flared sides, so it's easy to wind on, gives you more of like a funnel effect to get that line in the correct position. And another change that they've made is they've widened the, the holes, the cutouts in the side. So instead of just circles, it's wider at the top section. So when you're threading the, uh, the leader through, you actually get a bit more of a target to be able to thread it through. The line itself, if I start off with the uh, the leader, because you get two different types of line, you've got Eldred and Dyneema. So the leader itself, the uh, the loop as it were, is bright yellow, so easy to see in the water, but it contrasts fairly well against the, uh, the orange, which are the main line, so you can differentiate in the water. The very tip, they've actually stitched it together. Instead of tying a knot, they've stitched it, which is a better reinforcement knots tend to wear out one particular area of the line so over time if you're using it again and again that one section wears through and eventually undoes whereas if it's stitched together it's all even and you don't have any one particular uh, sort of weak point the very very tip as well they've uh, sort of heat shrunk a, a section over that so it gives you something rigid to be able to push through the sides it's a lot easier. And if you have it tied off onto something, that section sticks out. So to be able to untie the knot, again, even with gloved hands, it gives you something to grab hold of so you can pull it free that much easier and unpick that knot without having to take your gloves off and try and get it out. The rest of the leader, so this is a, um, a reinforced line. Apex literally bought one of every like line available and they tested them all for different things from abrasion to like straight pull tests and they ended up choosing this line because it's a bit more abrasion resistant. So if you're tying it off for like jump lines or something, it's a bit stronger. That then connects to a metal swivel joint. So instead of the line twisting over when you're winding it back in, it actually untwists itself as you're winding it. So it just makes it a, um, reduces the chances of twists and turns and tangles. And then onto the main section of the line, which is this bright orange tape. So the tape itself is pretty well flat compared to these like circular line that they use on most balls. I tend to find that it doesn't tangle as much, or if it does, it's much easier to untangle it because it's a, a tape. When it twists over, it gives you something to grab hold of as opposed to everything looking just exactly the same. Personally, I just find it a lot easier to, uh, to untangle. 
and they've done that stitching effect as well again so you're not uh, sort of having any weak points right at the very end <clears throat> The, um, the rest of the finger spool, yeah, slightly smaller central hole in the center. This is more designed for warmer waters, um, but even if you just use a, a pinch grip, you still have a, a smooth section to be able to pinch it without sticking your finger all the way through that hole. Uh, but all in all, yeah, a good, strong, compact line and uh, sorry, a compact spool with very nice, decent line on it. If you're after a, a nice finger spool to uh, sort of send a, a DSMB up, yeah, you can do a lot worse than the, uh, the Lifeline. And that's the Apex Lifeline 15 meter spool, a, um, a good spool for those shallower stops where you need to send up a DSMB at like sort of five meters or something, you have plenty of redundancy. And uh, yeah, a nice, incredibly light uh, sort of package. This can stow away in a pocket or just clip off onto a D-ring very easily. It's not gonna get in the way anywhere and very strong as well. So you don't have to worry about it taking a bash or a cylinder or a weight kind of dropping on it, uh, nice and strong and color coded as well. Um, this is much smaller than the rest of the range, but still, if you're rummaging around and you pull it out in front of you, you can definitely tell which one it is and it even has 15 meters written on it, um, but yeah great spool. There's going to be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. Just click on the link down in the description below to check it out and buy it from us at Simply Scuba. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.